So welcome, Stefan. It's exciting to see you, and I can see you have a T-shirt on. Hi, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, and what does the T-shirt say, Stefan? Okay, first of all, hello to the audience, and I'm happy to be able to present our wonderful Delex software program. Uh, as Valerie said, my name is Stefan Berman, and I'm a teacher for deaf students here in Osnabrück, and I'm enthusiastic about sign writing for almost 14 years. So uh, I know what I'm talking about. Um, I would like to start with, ah, of course, first my, my name sign. This is a wonderful gift from the Hamburger Delix team. And I am really very, very grateful that Professor Grishan and his team supports the idea of spreading the word for Gebärdenschrift do so a fantastic job. You know, I don't know anything about programming. And if Steve, if you re report about what you are doing, and I can't follow at all, so I have no idea. But I am really so grateful that we can use your wonderful sign pile dictionary, and hopefully in the in the future, the sign mail again and other things you develop. So um, the Hamburger software team is an excellent group. They come to the teaching group. It's me and other people in Hamburg. And they ask us, hello, teachers, what do you want? What kind of program and what kind of progress in the program do you want to achieve that we should try to get done with our programming? And it's a new idea to me that I can just say, oh, well, I would like to hide this line, or I would add this kind of letters, or I would like to have Mundbildschrift as well in the line beneath, or I do need a different way of printing out and all this kind of stuff. So practical work in the classroom is the guideline for them to develop the next step for the program. And we are now pretty much ahead of what I ever had expected. So I would like to introduce what we, where, where we came from, and now from where we are going to. And the team in Hamburg is just doing such a great job to develop step by step by step more of this what a teacher really needs. And well, here is the point. I do not know. I do not know, Valerie. I do not <laughs> know at all. Why not? Every teacher for deaf students, every sign language instructor, every parent of a deaf <laughs> child, every who, like, sign language, uh, whatever, the researcher, doesn't ask for a tool that allows him to create documents of this quality, in this speed, with this easiness, and Maybe our presentation today will open the one or the other day door, <laughs> the yes. one or other day yes. door that people get to you or to us and ask. Well, this is my question: How do we get there, and how would you get there? And this is so. What we have to understand is there is a wonderful, wonderful program to write down what you invented, the notation for sign language, and to contrast it or to compare it with spoken language. And this is exactly what we as teachers need to improve literacy in deaf children. And well, I teach, as you said, I teach deaf children for years and years now, and I really have lots of experience to see how motivated and joyful and really effectful they, they work with these materials and sign writing is kind of highway to the brain to develop spoken language feeling for deaf students. Okay, I would love to introduce my class, my group, for a short time that you get a feeling how it looks like if you would visit my classroom, okay? Therefore, I would like to do now this uh, square, what is it? We call it share screen. Share, share screen. Right. Yeah. Hopefully it works, just a second. I have to say here, now I say desktop, okay, yeah. uh -huh. I say give it to you. So, do you see my screen now? Yes, I see okay. me because you're seeing me. <laughs> okay, yes. so now you see a group of mine, it's not the whole class, it's just a group of them, 
the other one is behind the camera. And I just tried to talk to it a little bit. In the middle is Lumturi. She is just two years in our class. She's from Albania. And Valerie, she is so proud to be the editor of the Albanian uh, sand puddle. <laughs> this is Lumturi. Okay, she asked Safa, what is your name? Safa says, my name is Safa, and he spells it. And she says, your sign name, what is that? Okay, Safa, okay, I see. So, and now she asked Christian, can you swim well? Yes, I can, no problem. Okay, hello. Now I'm joining the group. Good morning. I say, good morning. I say, oh, hello. Hello, you're good? If, ah, hello. <laughs> we. This is my class. There are together six students. Oh, no, 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 no. There are seven. I'm sorry. <laughs> we are smart. The reason is that we really develop well sign language competence, and we are able to translate from German to sign language back and forth. Okay. And this is long tool. I'm sorry. My name is Mr. Werman. W-H-O-R-M-A-N. Hello. Who are you? What is your sign name? I'm Mr. Berman. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> no, come on. Come on. No, you're not. Okay. My name is Tristan. You have to spell your name. Okay. Christian. So, I just stop it for a second. Can you imagine Christian is for one year within our class? For one year. He's coming from Romania. And thanks to sign writing, he developed such a high level of German spoken language that from next year on, he will participate in all subjects, in all lessons within the class. Isn't it great? Yes. Yes, I love it. So, now it's Safa. Safa says, my name is Safa. Hello. He says, my name is Tariq from Syria. He is Delia. Okay, my name is Delia. And I would like to sign American way. Okay. <laughs> my name is Lumturi. <laughs> okay, my son, my name is Lumturi. I said, well, she's a little bit, you know, she wants to have contact all over the world and she feels like being... Well, okay, it's fine, it's okay, so, okay. <laughs> Let's go on with your discussion. And now she's signing kind of mixture of DGS and German. Are you here born in Germany? No, he said, I'm born in Romania. I said, Romania? Here Romania? No, there Romania. Ah, so, okay. And she asked me, do you have a hobby? What kind of hobby do you have? And I say, oh, I love to learn Albanian language. I don't, oh, no, I'm kidding. No, I love photography, of course. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So she says, are you able to play football well? Yes, I do. You can sign very much? Yes, no problem signing. Oh, yes, you're a sign good signer. Wait a minute. Stop. I have a question for all of you. Here in Germany, the spoken language, it's difficult or easy? Oh, it's not easy. What's the reason? Why is spoken language so difficult? Uh, Daily says, and look to says, oh, don't know. It's like one after each other, okay? You start and afterwards you. Okay. He says, just imagine there's a man and he's speaking. I have no idea what he's talking about because it's so difficult to live with. Okay. I'm at home. My mother, my brother standing together talking to each other. I've got no idea what they're talking about. Ne? That's not nice. No? I would love to be with people who almost try to gesture and to find with pantomime that I get my way. Okay, now the problem is learn German is difficult, but now we can translate it. Oh, yes, he said, we can translate it with sign writing. We can add a, a translation line to the sign writing. What does Delex Editor mean? Okay, for example, I need a term for apple. Apple, okay, apple. What does apple mean? Ah, der Apfel in German. Okay. So now, I can add many, many vocabularies and have the sign and the word added to that. So I learned the terms in German so much. So, and is it difficult to read sign language? No, it is so easy. No problem whatsoever. I can read it quickly. No problem. Hmm. Okay. Over there, Valerie Sutton in America, you know, she has got the idea to write down sign language, and I developed the Mundbilder for reading, lip reading, okay? 
Is it difficult to lip read? I say, wo, yes, wo, ist deine Tasche. Where is your bag? Wonderfully. Okay. What about you? Ah, but I shouldn't sign when I try to exercise lip reading. Okay. Can you swim? Very good. And now? Ah, wrong. He said, where is your bus? Aha, you said well, bus. Ah, okay, I got it. Okay, so fine. So, so far, we should stop here. That is fine. Thank you. And now, I would love to show just in, in this area a second thing. It is the guy you already know about. Okay, now one year later, he is working with the Delex editor, what we are talking about now. And this is a typical, an absolutely typical situation in classroom. Uh, all of the students are sitting at their computer, or we are together in the computer room. And now I teach Safa for the first time in how to use the editor in the sign writing Delex software program. So his hometown is called Stemshorn. Stemshorn. And he has to write the Mundbilder for Stemshorn into the Delex editor. So as you see, it isn't, doesn't work, and he has to find his way, but it works. And it is so nice, you can see that, Valerie, yeah. that we can simply type on a keyboard and get the Mundbilder on a nice line uh, edit to the document, you see? Now I say save it for this document. And voila, now we are gone, you've got it. Fine. And now you see, Safa is editing sign by sign, every sign. He looks at it very, very quickly, so he really grabs what is the difference of a symbol we really did not want to have like this. And he's editing the whole document. And for students of this age, the documents contain about 15 to 20 pages sometimes, you know. And in the end, they are able to translate all these exact signed German sentences without any any mistake. Can you imagine? No mistake whatsoever. And their spelling is compared to hearing students so much better. It is it is amazing what they are doing. And they love it. They love it to do the work on their own and to work on their own speed and to have feedback from the program whenever they want to. But I will talk about this later. So let, let me jump in the video a little bit forward. Just a second. OK. Now. OK. I told him he should write, Deutsch. what is the name of your German teacher? And now you see he's trying to write the sentence in German, but he doesn't know the term. He does not know what is Deutschlehrer, how to write it. D, D. And I spell it, I say, slow down, just letter by letter. German teacher, Deutsch Lehrer. And you see, while he is typing in the search word field, the sign shows up. I say, oh, this took a long time, just repeat it. And without nothing, he would do it again and again and again. And in the we end, he's so proud. Language. He's so proud that he got it. And you know, a moment ago, he didn't know. And now he knows. And t tomorrow he ah. will know. And then we will do all the names of the teachers and all the subjects. And step by step, it's not a matter of good that we talked about. But now I know what I'm supposed to write. It is a competence that really got developed with means of this Delex uh, program. OK. So, other coming. Thanks for listening. Hello, okay. Hello. Fine. This is the first part I want to say. The second part is I just keep with sharing with my screen where I am. The second part is I would like to show you the one thing of the beginning. Years and years ago, I started with my little son, Gordian. Do you see the screen? Valerie? Valerie? I, I'm sorry. Yes, yes. I okay. do see the screen. Fine. Yes. So you see here a two and a half year boy reading these symbols. Okay? He says mama and dear mama and lion and sleep and so on and so forth. <coughs> and he's 
so enthusiastic about being able to read that he was waiting for me to come home for school to, to, to start again reading meow as he called it, you know, <laughs> because we had this little cat on the, on, the, on the card and so on. So what people need to know in the world is sign writing is open from baby's age till adult people and even adult people, deaf people, with a mental disability. I got experience that I took so much advantage out of reading, sign writing flashcards or little, little phrases. So it is amazing what kind of uh, yeah, resource is embedded in this thing, okay? Then let me show you my classroom that has been at that time, you know? And you, you remember these guys, Valerie? Of course I do. They're not the beautiful kids, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, they are, they, and they are grown up now, and they did very, very, very nicely. So uh -huh. I'm very happy. And now I said, just a second, I have to move my, my thing a little bit to the right. So how do I get there? Uh, yeah, like this. Okay, what is sign writing about? And here we are. I would like to show this. Just a second. <laughs> yeah, now all these symbols that get weird, uh, people that make people... Uh, <coughs> I'm sorry. So, yeah. No, fine. So now, okay. Gebärdenschriftlichen <laughs> Verlust. So. Do you remember these videos? And I looked it up in the YouTube thing, and they are now saved there, so everybody can look at it. And we will come back to this document later. Um, well, let us let us start with the Dilex thing. Um, the best way. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, let let just have some your animations are yeah. so yeah. darling. You and are this, truly an artist. Really. This is a typical thing that. <laughs> And he says, and he says now, I would like to write everything in sign writing. This is what he what he's signing there. Okay. <laughs> it's wonderful. It's it's sign okay. writing movie. <laughs> okay. Wonderful. So now, how do we get here? This is the Dilex editor. How do we get there? Okay. If people would like to start, they really should use the Google thing and write sign bank. No, I'm sorry. First, they can go to the Dilex page. Are the Dilex .de. So, this way they come directly to our German, what is it, homepage, website, okay? And you see everything what is done right now, and you see they announced our symposium today, and greetings to all the members of the Delex team who watch right now. <laughs> I really appreciate, appreciate your support. And uh, this is our deaf teacher for creating materials for deaf students, we are doing German courses all over Germany, and here you find several other things, you may browse through the things. Here is where you can read the whole thing in English, you know, and here you see different flags. And the idea is, if you go from the very beginning, I'm sorry, I have to go back, right? Yeah, if you go to the Dilex editor here, you would, you would be on the German side, you see? Here is everything written in German. But people would love to be on a different side, on the uh, side of their choice. And therefore, you simply write sign bank punkt or <coughs> And Valerie, your system it's coming up, huh? is really wonderful. You know? wow. so, <laughs> okay. And now you see the flags. And the Dilex team would love to to try to to do the same kind of thing that people find a quick orientation to find their interface. Okay, in this case, let us start with America, but later we will go on with German. So you just click on the U.S. flag if you are interested to write ASL documents and to have the interface in English. Now you see I'm already registered, but I will log out so that you see the same as if you would be the first time there. How to get started? Now you are a not registered, non-registered user, and that is fine. No problem with that so far. So you say, I would like to do a new document. You see where I click, Valerie? Yes. Right to the house. 
You clicked on new, yes, yes. Yes, new. And this window opens and we get this new document. And if you already know the title, what kind of document you are writing, and in order to find it up late, to find it later, you should know about a good title, you know, uh, a meaningful title. Then you can type it here, otherwise you get time afterwards, no problem. So here is a thing that already some signed puddle dictionaries in the background are embedded. So in this case, we wrote for the American Sign Language Dictionary, and all the entries that are in the American Dictionary will show up here. Isn't it great? Yes. Okay, so we say new, and we can start immediately. Well, in order to make people more, what is it, more familiar with, with what's going on, I will switch to the sign puddle of America. And here you find this search word line, and you can, for example, say, show me every entry <coughs> that is in this American sign puddle. And then all the entries show up. But the same as in sign puddle, if you go to the transla translation option, your terms would not be would not show up if there is a gap in your entries. Okay, so make sure that your entries are a one unity, just one unity. Just add these little strokes or the lines between the words, and then you would find 116. This way, you will not find 116. You know. I That's, see. I, no? I think, yeah, I'm yes. just going to say, I think Stefan is talking about a little dash between words, like thank and you. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, would, you would have a dash between them, so there's no space. And you then, have you're, then you're able to find the sign, is what yes. you're trying to say. Yes. As, okay. Otherwise, it will not show up. Okay? okay. So, in this case, score. I'm sorry? You can use an underscore in, instead of a space. You should be able to. Right. Yeah. Right. And I did that in the German sign puddle all, all the time, but <laughs> different other sign puddles, and people didn't, do need to know that, okay? You can search with it without actually putting the underscore in the entry itself. Oh, let's try. So if I go here to translate, and I say, what was it, 100? One? 100. Put an underscore rather than a dash. Yeah. 100. 16 was it? I don't doesn't, know. Still does, uh, doesn't matter. So let's see. I remember right. So it doesn't show up. All right. Okay. All right. Maybe that's because we didn't enter it that way, right? It, it depends on how we entered it. Exactly. So yeah. so just so. just keep in mind that we want to have this kind of uh, thing. The other thing is the following. Just look at this. We say, for example, uh, let me say house. Okay, house, and ask for translation. And you see, <laughs> well, no, not, okay. not a good, not a good, not a good example. Say something else. Hello, hello is nice. So, hello, okay. And you see, there are these variations um, as entries in the American sign puddle. Okay, the same will show up in the Dalek sign puddle. You know, but. In this case, you can see nicely all the variations one to each other. And we are visual, visually can say, I would like to have this hello because Valerie loves that the most. OK? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> we will come to that later. So now I'm in the ASL sign puddle. And just let me tell you why teachers should ask for the Deluxe program. Just in case American little boy wants to learn the symbols for the signs for one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I would simply write the signs and well done. And you say, hey, wait a minute, that's the <laughs> way we sign it. Huh? So what, it, what needs to be really understood is the program itself doesn't do the translation. No, it is you as a scribe who has responsibility to check every spelling, to check every sign, and to make the whole thing uh, senseful, OK? In this case, we say one is OK. And two, we would like to have the palm facing the face, right, Barry? Yes, facing the body, yes. So now I say switch to the other variation. And 
next to the sign you see this re these little rectangles and there are two numbers you mm -hmm. see two and two and this says in the American sign puddle there are two variations one and two and in this case this is variation two okay so now I'm done and I have written the symbols one two three four five six and they are nice and great except what? that five five has to also have the palm facing the body can you nice. take that? Okay, good. yeah so <laughs> you did it right I, very good I love to see that you follow with so much attention, Valerie. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I'm following. Believe me. <laughs> okay. And now we have written the signs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And every American child should be able to match the numbers written in the second line with the signs written in the first line. We call this line sign writing line, as you can see here. Okay? We call this line search word line because here we type the terms of a spoken language in order to get the terms that are stored in the dictionary. And here we can write whatever we want. Hopefully the correct translation. In this case it would be easy because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is no problem at all. But what is the problem? The problem is that the young American deaf child should learn to know the spelling of the words for the numbers. You agree? Yes, of course. So, let's go forward and say this is 1, and this is 2, and this is 3, and this is 4, and this is 5, and this is 6. Now we have to edit again, and I would like to show a second method, okay? Here we clicked on the little arrows next to the signs. In this case, and I prefer that very much, you can place your cursor into the search field, mm -hmm. okay, and then place the left index on the alt and the other on the key error, and you can browse wonderfully and quickly through all the variations that are stored. Okay? Right, so Stefan is doing a keystroke. He taught me that the other day. Yeah. So you can change things two ways. One is with a mouse, you know, and the other yeah. way is to use the keystroke, Alt plus the arrows, right? Yeah. Thank you for, for adding that, yeah. <laughs> so I hope this has been slow enough to explain to people that if there is a sign that is not what we want to, we can search for the other variations by either mouse click or by keystroke. Very you think good. Clear enough. So now I want the child to learn the numbers is easy, but to learn the spelling. How do I do that? It is wonderful. Here are the options to hide a line. You see, if I hide the search word line, there is nothing to see anymore. Ha! Huh. Now the, the child can place his cursor here, or the key teacher can do, and the child has to spell or to speak or whatever, and he can say, well, here was the number, one, two, three, four, five, six, right. And now, just keep spacebar, we type the words, one, two, and now, my God, I've forgotten how to write three. So what's to be done? I can look for search for help, and open the search word line again. And I can look at it as long as I want to, and then I hide it again, and I keep going. Okay, three, oh, I forgot four. So let's look again, four. Okay, so, and it, the, the students, the students, you can't imagine, they are so motivated to get along without clicking for help all the time, but to memorize the words and then do it, you know? And may, this is, may I just say one thing? I'm going to say very quickly. I don't know whether everybody saw, but how did Stefan change back and forth between those or toggle? His mouse went up high to the bar way up there. And see where it says search word? That's for the search word line. And you can click on that to take it off or on. Yeah. You see, sometimes people can't catch it that fast, Stefan, because we're just wow. human. We're, look, we're looking okay. at what you're doing, and we forgot to notice 
that your mouse went up to the top right. and he's got search word line. Right. And then you can click on that again and it comes back again. You keep clicking. Right. I really love right. that feature. It's a terrific and, feature. Well, and it is so wonderful because is this plus? Do you say plus like this? Yes, plus, yes. Okay, uh -huh. fine. So we say <laughs> three. It's just an experiment. I did it for the first time. Three <laughs> plus. <laughs> <five>. <laughs> Adam, is that is that good ASL? I don't know ASL well enough, Adam. Is that okay? Well, Adam should know. <laughs> <laughs> Three plus five plus five. <laughs> uh, but what what do I type here, Adam? Uh, equal. So e uh, just just uh, like this? No. No, spell it out. E Q U A L. Like this? Yeah. Talk. Fine. So now, oh, it's excellent. Listen, look at this. So now we are already learning, and I love it. I love it so much. So you see, what you see is you see nothing at more, nothing more, just the signing, okay? And the little deaf child and the student or the learner has to know to sign three plus five equals mm -mm -mm, eight, right? Now you can tease your students and say, wait a minute, I just make a mistake. I say. <laughs> Okay, and I hide it again. So uh, I'm sorry. So, so so now nobody would know that there's a mistake unless you are able to read sign writing and you are ab able to calculate, right? Okay. Yes. Very fine. So now it is a child's ch task to do exactly what I'm doing now to write the correct spelling, the words in these lines. You see. He has the same three plus, well, and you know. And now I can find out, and the child can find out himself. Do I know all what I'm supposed to know, or is there any question left? And if there is an insecurity or so, he can look for help and can say, ah, I know. Well, the, the wonderful thing is, in the end, after all teaching, after years, what do I want? I want them to understand spoken language from the beginning. So I hide the sign writing line. And I only show written German or written English. And they have to sign, you know? And they show me whether they understand the idea and whether they understand the words. And if they don't know, they look for help and find the help with and clicking on sign writing or not. You see? Yeah, so the, it's up on the bar there. See up at the top, sign writing line. Then right. you click on that to get back the sign writing line or click it off or on, right? Okay. Yeah. So uh, to get forward, and we are, do not have too much time left, I would like to introduce now how do we save and how do we print, okay? Uh, for teachers, I would like to inform them, children, in my classroom, always, always get a document that looks like this. So, sign writing plus the solution, the correct translation, okay? Maybe in signed language, the solution is equals the search word line, no problem. But if not, I add this free text line and write the correct translation there. Look at this. CMD and now I go here, CMDV, and you see it is just uh, what is uh, uh, Control C, Control what is it? Paste that would and be copy and paste. Right. Yes, you copied yeah. it and then you pasted it. Yes. Yeah, isn't it nice? It is yeah. beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Yeah. Done. No problem whatsoever. So the student gets this kind of document where he sees the sign writing and the correct translation. You see. Mm -hmm. and he got a document that is without the free text line, okay? It is hidden. It is only sign writing. And it is his job or her job just to write with pencil and pen, if it is a printed document, the correct translation in this space here. And uh, for homework, they have to be able to, to have a look at the worksheet where the solution is printed out, okay? The wonderful thing, and I'm really grateful to the hamburger crew, is everybody in the world, from Honolulu to Brazil, no matter what, is able to use this program, this moment, for free, 
and train his students and do homework or whatsoever. So you are able to get home and know Mr. Werman wants me to translate page 1 to 15 of this document and I have to save it in my own folder and Mr. Werman will look at it at home at night and look where I did mistakes or whether I did, whether I did a good job and every single student has his own account and the teacher has got the possibility to accompany him on his way to better literacy in spoken language. I, I really enjoy that. It is, it is wonderful. So just in case you are in places where there's no online uh, possibility, you have to save your document on your private computer. And you do this, that you have to do a PDF first. So just say we want to do the, the with the solution, we say create PDF, but first we have to do a title. Okay, not new document. We have to a meaningful title. So we say save as. Am I too quick? No, it's fine. Fine. Okay. It's fine. So now you see the problem I mentioned in the beginning. All the doors are open just to the public, but not to your private account. So mm -hmm. whenever you go to public now, I do that. It is fine. You can do that. No problem whatsoever. And you will find there your document. That's fine too. And you say here, uh, numbers. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. One, two, six. And words, I say. I don't know what you would say, but it doesn't matter, okay? And I would say save. And he said, oh, enter a valid name. <laughs> what is this? Uh, maybe I made the mistake and there's one space bar somewhere. Yeah. So you see, you are not allowed to have a space bar. One more than one. Just one space bar between the words, OK? Now you say save. And you see your document name shows up in the bottom line. And how many pages is your document? one and you are on page one from one of one and he is that you made this with a beautiful Dilex editor program from the Hamburg crew <laughs> so you know everything is taken care of that after you did many many and believe me I did thousands of pages thousands can you imagine uh, you find your way to find your document and they did a great job to find your document really because now I will show you we want to go forward and reopen it again. As an unknown user, you see here, I'm only able to enter the public area. There's no folder for me. So now you see there are lots and lots of people in a minute who already entered documents, you see, but they are in danger that somebody else will take their document and will do something they do not want to. You know? And you see, it is difficult to find your own document. But, and I love that, and I do it every day. Here, you find this criteria, cre creation date. And clicking two times, you find, ah, here is our document we created a minute ago. You see? Yes. Here, 2015, and, and so forth. So get on it and reopen it. And now we are better off to really register. So. For purpose of this symposium, I got the name Hugo <laughs> and enter my password. I hope fully I know it, so you will see. <laughs> yes. And now it says, hello, Hugo Schlüssel. You see? See, it's over to the right, right next to that little person. See, it says, right. hello, and Hugo. <laughs> and now I see my document is still name, numbers, but no personal account, but I want to. So I say, save as. And now it opens the public and, I'm sorry, home. Uh, it opens the public and my private. You see that? Yes. So you have a private file now called right. Google. Right. right. And if okay. you save it here under Hugo, you see, Mm -hmm. You will see, I did for, for training, for practice, I did already several times, but... <laughs> <laughs> so you have many documents under Hugo. Yeah, okay. yeah. I will say, show you later. <laughs> I, have, I have hundreds okay. and hundreds and hundreds of documents. So, fine. Uh, let's imagine we start again, and now you will sh really wonder. 
Um, here is my document folder, and here you find a nice video. Oh my goodness, you're not serious, are you? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, wow. Isn't it so beautiful? Like, well, that's, yes. Oh my goodness, Stefan, that goes way back in time. We're not even writing yeah. that way. Yeah, and I love okay. it. Okay. So now, All right. we say, do you remember what you said? You say, now, I, I, I should put it here. Okay. Now, I will teach you how to read. Hello. The oh. sign, hello. Yes, that was the line from this old, old video that went back to, yes. wow, the 80s, well, I think. Well, <laughs> yes. for, this, for this demonstration, it is it is wonderful, okay? Okay. Why? Let me tell you why. People who start, who want to work with a Dilex editor have to be good, experienced reader and good scribes. Otherwise, it is just like Google translation that comes out here and there in gibberish and you don't know what is on. So in this case, you see, now is pretty much written as you signed it. That is fine. But I, you didn't sign I. Let us no. look whether there are this I. No, you didn't use this. 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 So, oh, we are lost. <laughs> so what's to be done? And now, watch out, everybody. It is a miracle. We go, <laughs> we go into this field. You see my cursor? Yes. And we do a double kick. And voila. Now we are in the area where we can construct our own signs, like in Sign Puddle, the sign maker. It's the same. So now we can really say, oh, I did not want to have this kind of symbol. I really want to do it in a different way, like this I just. So now, here is not the time very to, to play around long enough that everybody understands all these edit symbols. But let me just start and we will cut off and people may ask questions or practice on their own, okay? What is important is here you see the things you want to work on. In this case, I would like to add a head. So you go here and say, please add this head, in this case like this, and the head circle is positioned all the time in this area. Okay. automatically. So yeah. now I would like to add to the head some eyes. And he says, one eye, two eyes, both eyes. <laughs> okay. Say, Let me take the eyebrows, okay? All right. And now, uh, it is a smile that you say, me, <laughs> smile is mouth. So okay. I would say, this is nice. Isn't it great? Oh, it's a beautiful editor. That's a beautiful now, system. Now, yeah. this, is, this is still not correct. And you see here the movement possibilities, you know? So now okay. we go here this way, or this way, or yes. this yes. way. You Stefan see? is clicking on the right side of his screen where it says edit symbol. And he's, right. he's choosing right. to rotate over there with the buttons that you see. Yeah. Going to rotate. Yeah, I want to show, you know, that everybody yeah, understands. of course, of course. Well, this is nice, you see. Now, you <laughs> okay. see, this is the, the me or I that you used in your performance. I Do you did. Remember? I don't yeah. remember. It's, it was back in 1985. Um, oh, just think about how many years it is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was a re <laughs> Pardon me? You, you remember that I started with my... Oh, I'm sorry, I got lost. That's yeah. all right. Go right back to where you were. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. And sorry. we can just go right ahead and teach and not yeah. worry about my old video. <laughs> No, 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 no. It is, it is, it is the center of the symposium uh, presentation, Valerie. It's very good. Oh, so, okay. You see now, this is the correct transcription of your signing here. Uh, okay. All right. It doesn't mean yes. All right. Just so you all know out there, it's it's not real ASL, and I just didn't know any better, I guess. <laughs> okay. So we won't worry about it. Most people kidding. in American Sign Language don't do I. They don't even do that. You are kidding. You are signing so beautifully. Oh, and you're so sweet. Well, and thank you. But nevertheless, <laughs> what I'm talking about is 
at that time, we worked with the sign writer DOS, as you can see in the pixels, you know? And now you can look at this I and Will and Teach, and we go back to our Dilex thing. Here. All right. Where are we going? Here. And now I finish the, this sign as I want to. And now I say, I want to save this newly. So I did this extra entry to my document okay. and say, save it newly. And he asked me, what is the search word? And I say, I. And I say, save it. And now, voila, it shows up in my document immediately. Uh huh. So okay. weeks ago, we had to wait for one night that the upload happened. Né? And now everything can done immediately. Right? So you, you say, well, like this. No, maybe like this. Okay. So may I ask a question? I know that it's not what you expect, but may I ask, how would you delete the entire sign for I? Uh, I just want to say we wanted to delete it. I'm just curious because um, I don't know how to delete something. Let's say they're uh, in the grammar of a, of a language. Things ah, are changing. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I will show you later. So if you, if you okay. don't want you say just like this and it is gone. Oh, okay. I see. Good. You could now. Could you put it back, or is it yeah. gone completely? No problem. So I just type I and look for the last. <laughs> I see. Okay. I'm sorry to. Have no, no. Fine. This is fine. So yes, you see, okay. the well, very. It is a good point. Uh, we want to make sure that not everybody is able to mess the dictionary up. You know. <laughs> so there's a. Yeah. So there's, there's the option that you, as a scrub of this document, take responsibility, but only for this document. This new entry is not part of the dictionary, but only part of your document in your, uh, um, what is it, in your account. Yeah? In your account, if yeah. Somebody else open, yeah. And that is fine, because now nobody has to be afraid of doing wrong or something. No, contrary. Now we can exchange our version with other scribes, and all over the world we can design, we can discuss our spelling, our grammar, our how would you express, I would like to know different spelling. It is, it is so wonderful that it is such an easy way to get in contact with other signers in the world and mm -hmm. to exchange meaning or dictionary or whatsoever. You know, uh, Ingrid Rold, I hope she is watching now, she did at that time this physics uh, dictionary for Norwegian students, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, I would love to to copy lots and lots of time if they fit to the German way we we sign physics names, but we need to have a, a new software and the Dilex the, the the software in in sign writing DOS is still available and I have it on my computer run, so it's no problem that I can copy from here to there. Also, right wow, new, that's okay? But wonderful, wonderful. So cool. Roald, you did a great job. In case oh you yes, didn't. yes, I like Roald it. did a great job for sure. <laughs> um, how, so, just I prepared this, of course. So I will show you a different thing. I just log out. I log in as Stefan. So that makes things faster now. We have to speed up. <laughs> well, I'd like to see some of your documents uh, in German Sign Language yeah. or in yeah. German Signs. Yeah. That would be great. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, discard. I say just discard. I say go. Here you see my entries, you know, and um, well, I'm editor of many many teaching rooms and and learning groups and so on and so forth. So it is you see it is quite uh, an yeah quite a you number have, of you documents. Have a lot of it. You have a lot of documents. People should know just yeah, thousands. Lot. I would assume. Yeah. 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 Fabulous. And therefore, and therefore it is so hope. Um, so, we have done this here, and now you see, isn't it beautiful? It is perfectly written in this line. Yes. Now I teach you, how, and look at this. Here you say teach with the left hand still. Yeah, I guess air, that's the way I signed it. Yeah. You, you must for me. I feel right? insecure because I'm a hearing person. We've always wanted to get deaf people to be writing and yeah. signing, and not me. I don't. I'm just. Struggling well, <laughs> to learn ASL myself. Yeah, but you wrote it really. You wrote it really well. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, and it is important to our audience that all all of us who are hearing get the feeling. Oh my God! Hopefully, I sign it the way the deaf would accept it. 
and it is natural. So this sign writer, uh, Delex editor, is a perfect tool to show it to their people and to say, please do me the favor, have a look at it. You know, the <laughs> same as I show to you my apps and say, can you please polish it up and make it look like uh, without that many mistakes or so. Same yes. here. Now we can get to deaf signing competent people and ask them for support or for to 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 offer their suggestion and and it is a wonderful platform to exchange you know well that okay. may I just say one thing the top line is perfect I, I want to uh, compliment you Stefan and writing it so beautifully um, people should know that Stefan looked at that video and that is exactly the way I signed it when I look at what you wrote there the top yeah. line that you, the fact that you're able to take a video and write it exactly as you saw it is a remarkable yeah. technique. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, well, Valerie, and the, the good thing is now that you say this is this is bullshit here. You, this line yeah. <laughs> do, not, do not like. So yes. I try to I try to uh, I'm sorry. Sign writing line. I try to hide it. Uh, <laughs> so you're second. doing great. This is stop, very exciting. Stop. Oh no, wow. <laughs> What can you do? You say this is correct signing, and underneath this is the correct translation. You see, okay. and yes. now you can go back and forth as we did before. You ask a hearing person, "Can you please sign what you see?" Okay, and he should hide the sign. So, and it is his job to to sign. Now I will teach you how to read the sign. Hello, and he doesn't know. He looks for help and opens the sign writing line again. Okay, and this line can be can be deleted. We don't need that. It is just for demonstration that the program itself is not the translator, but you as a competent sign language knower and spoken language knower. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Uh, we learned so far that you can go to the editor. I would just repeat it one time. Just double click, and one thing you have to learn is. I'm sorry here. I'm sorry here. Yeah, there we I go. go to the, I go to the Dalex editor in the German, and now look at this. I'm sitting in front of my students, and I say, for example, wo, and now you see it is lip reading. Wo, you see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. V o wo. No? Mm -hmm. example, now I say ist. So it says ist. ist. Okay. And then I say mein. Mine, mm -hmm. and now I say, for example, bus. So we start with this program online, this lip reading training, and they really have so much fun to understand that once they know what the hands are doing, lip reading is so much easier, so much easier, you know. And uh, that is that is a good thing about this. It is important to know that. Um, you want to see some documents? Just I would like to show you. Uh, I I want to compliment you all on this beautiful editor. This is an addition to Delex that has just happened, I believe, in the past year. Is that right, Stefan? Yeah. Are you, yeah, yeah. It's quite, it's Can you quite impressive. It? Yes, I'm sorry. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Well, to explain, I, I'm trying to tell people that when you open up Delex and you're writing a sign, or you see a sign there, you can double click on that sign and it opens up the editor. That's how that works. And yes. that editor program is really gorgeous. Really, really well done. Thank you for that. Thank you. Yeah, it is now, fantastic. And, it is and, and fantastic. In the long run, it should be a standalone thing. So we we are not depend on, on sign puddle in that time because everything can be done with a sign uh, Delex editor, you know? Uh-huh. Uh, we have not found a way how to... Uh, we don't want to write all the 24,000 signs again. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right, we don't. So it's working back and forth with SignPuddle Online. And look at yeah, there is SignPuddle Online. There we go. <laughs> and that's developed by Steve Slavinsky. Yeah, huh? Right here. <laughs> yes, that's right. And there's your German dictionary. Look how many entries. Okay. Uh, 2,000, well, 23,719. Wow. Yeah. A big dictionary. So we are really fortunate. And this makes, we come to an end, I guess, this makes it, it understand what is so important to me. The uh -huh. most important factor influencing learning is what the learner already knows. Assert this and teach him accordingly. Okay? So make sure 
that your child is able to sign, to understand communication in sign language. Once she knows, he knows that. He wants to understand that the matching between a sign, exp uh, an idea expressed in sign language and the same, same idea expressed in spoken language. So now it is possible with a Dilex editor to really match these two things on a one word level or on a sentence level, on a question answer level or a whole text level. And I would like to show in the end some documents that really uh, show what's going on. Okay? Yes. I type this, I type that. So now, uh, I out the following experiment. I wrote these sentences. Wo ist meine Brille? Ich suche meine Brille. Wo ist mein Bus? Kannst du mir helfen? Und so weiter. This is German. I went to the U Google translator service and mm -hmm. asked for translations in English and, and Polish and whatsoever, you know. And now you can imagine what I'm doing. I just go to copy. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. Steuerung C. I go to my Dilex thing. Where is it gone? Do you know? Here. Um, here we are. Gebärdenschrift. No. Dilex. Okay. No. <laughs> New document. Okay. Here we are. I I have to position it. There we screen. go. So there we go. Say, just paste. I just say paste, and voila, all the sentences are translated within a second. Do you see that? Wow. Wow, that's amazing. So you yes, had all those signs already written in your right, dictionary. Right. And then and you just put the words in, point, right. and here it comes. Woo. And this is what teachers for deaf have to understand. We need lots and lots and lots of sentences to make the students able to follow this kind of pattern, you know, wo ist denn now mein Bleistift, meine Hose, mein Auto. So in German, the grammar is so complicated that they really have to be able to write these sentences. And in case I do it again, Steuerung V, I'm sorry, I have the same line, but now I ask the student, what do you want to add as a different thing that you are looking for, okay? So where is my where is my handy Bleistift? Where's my pencil? Is done. So here, for example, where is my car? So I say, where is my auto? You see? And mm -hmm. all of a sudden, I can write. Where is my bag? Tasche. Okay. All of a sudden, I can write so many, so many documents in such a quick and nice and easy way. So, for deaf students, it is crucial to understand that this sign can mean so many different things. So in order to support them, I, do, I add the mouse pictures there. He say, Oops, just delete and say here, mine. Wow. You see, the whole thing, mine. And then I say, neu speichern. And I say, speicher is as mine. Go, go to the sign and you see immediately, wow. this child sees it's mine and not my knee. In this case, I go here, delete, and say, please assist the deaf child, and say, my knee. And you see, typing is so quick, and I get done my thing so easy. So, my knee, speichern. So, you see, here is yes. mine. Can you see that? Yes, I can, it yes. Is and here is my knee, you see? So, and you are blending uh, the use of the sign puddle dictionaries along with your own Literally. editor and you've got the blend. Right, and with lip reading and all this kind of stuff that really supports right. them. So if they right. mix up this search with I'm trouble, I have, I'm sorry, then you go here and say, okay, for you guy, I would add this Suche, like this, you see, mm -hmm. here, zack, I say Z, U, and now we look for this Ch, it is here, and now I say Ö, uh, and you say, ich suche. And now this child is supported with lip reading and all this stuff in the sign and without any problem. The, after a few um, suche, I have to say suche. <laughs> and you say, I'm sorry. No, it's sorry. okay. I'm just listening. <laughs> suche, speichern. So, and you see, it is changed from what it was before, just this without any here, you see. And now with lip reading, so it is able, it is easy to write for the child Suche. 
and the more experienced the deaf child is, the less is dependent on what is written here in the Mundbilder thing, you know. But if he does not know that much, it is complicated, you know. And therefore, you can you can see you can write on a specific level for a specific student on a level that he gets yeah support and, and fun and competence and yes. this is a, a miracle for, of the program that the Delex team the so, so software programmer allowed us teacher to create a tool that is really helpful in an individual one-to-one -one teaching situation as well for whole classes and groups you know yes it's, it's Let a me show you. I'm sorry yes. Stefan did you know that actually um, the, the presentation is technically um, the time is up uh, we've been working for an hour from eight to nine, but um, I was wondering if, if would you like to finish up? Is there anything more that's very urgent for you to show us that has new? Because I'd like to also tell you about a lovely comment that Erica Hoffman, one of our presenters, has uh, has said. Now, are you still online, uh, Stefan? Are you here? <laughs> okay, Stefan, are you here? Oh, good. Yeah. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome back. And yes. I want I want to thank you, yes, yes, to your health. <laughs> and um, I want to tell everybody that you have a beautiful presentation webpage, Presentation 44. And um, if you're watching in Google Hangouts, you can actually click on the link. But um, otherwise, you go to... Uh, signwriting.org forward slash symposium and you'll be able to navigate to our webpage for Stefan. It's the presentation webpage 44. And when you scroll down you'll see other videos that Stefan and I made together the other day on Skype and we recorded it and it was a lot of fun. We even shared coffee with each other. <laughs> and, and plus I shared my screen and we used uh, the Delex programs together but I think this was a fabulous, fabulous demonstration because you were able to give people really well, it's well taught because you're the one running the computer and showing us. Your enthusiasm is so catching and inspiring and you have done so much for deaf people and for sign writing and for the world. Thank you. And now I want to read one beautiful message from one of your biggest fans, Erica Hoffman. And, ah, she, yeah. and she writes, again I'm enjoying watching from home. Just chiming in to say that I've had the pleasure to see in person Stefan's students working with this program and was very impressed with how effective it is. One nice thing is that Stefan not only asked them to use the program to compare German Sign Language with German, but also to compare German Sign Language with Signed German. In this way, even if students used, used Signed German as a bridge for understanding German grammar, they can also clearly see how German Sign Language grammar differs from Sign German. Thus, the use, thus the use of Sign German in this context need not undermine students' acquisition of Sign German. I think that's a beautiful way to explain yeah. it, Stefan, because in your case, I think everybody should know that when you're working with teaching deaf children, you have many, many uh, groups that you must please. You need to teach your students how to read and write spoken German and also teach them sign language, teach them how to communicate with both hearing and deaf, and they also need to learn to read and write, not only spoken German but other spoken languages, plus obviously reading and writing sign language. So you have many different opportunities that you can use within the DELEX software to teach all of those modalities. Isn't that true? That's true, yeah. It's very important, and I want to. Do you want to say one last thing before we close for today? Uh, all I can say, I would encourage teachers all over the world to take part in this whole project and to make their first attempts to write their own articles or our own documents. And if there are questions, don't hesitate to write to the Dilex team, and we will be happy to share our experience and to support them as much as we can do. Okay. That is perfect. So you can go to Stefan's presentation 44 page and find the email address and go click. And by the way, take your hands down and let us see your shirt. And what does that mean? It means your name, Stefan. Right. Yes, I said, did you get it? Did you understand what yeah, I'm talking about? Yeah, that's his name sign. And thank you, Stefan. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Thank you, Valerie. Thank you, Adam. And thank you, Steve. <laughs>